Hi guys, so this is going to be a room tour for my one-year-old. So when you walk in his room, he has a Paw Patrol is on the roll sticker on his door. These are punch balloons. They have Rubble, Marshall, Chase, and Rocky on the balloons. I just tie them around his door so he can play with them. And I wanted to share this room with you all because I know I had showed photos, but I never did a tour. And then um, I uploaded it on my mommy channel, but deleted the footage and realized that I didn't post it here on my beauty channel. So anyway, um, on the wall directly behind the door, I'm going to give you all a quick pan around, I do believe. And then we will get into the actual breakdown of the room. As you can see, it's Paw Patrol themed. Um, I'm putting this video on my beauty channel because I just want you all to see some of the content and videos that I have on my mommy channel and that link is down in the description box down below. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, it's in the description box down below. And I just want to share the room because I'm really proud of it. So as you can see, I have these stickers. Those are from um, roommates on Amazon. This is storage behind the door that I'm actually using. So as he gets bigger and needs more space, then I will, you know, move my things. And then on his door, he just has a basketball gold and three little Paw Patrol badges. He has these shadow boxes from his nursery. The masks are from his birthday party. And I already showed you all where the um, big stickers are from. I also use some of the decorations, well, most of the decorations from his birthday party. Um, and I'm going to show you all his toys. He has a vacuum cleaner, um, a playhouse. It plays keys. Um, there's a mailbox, a telescope, a slide, windows that open back and forth, a telephone. It does English, uh, French, and Spanish, like so. But as I was saying before, a lot of these decorations were from his birthday party, and now I'm using them as room decorations. These are masks that I had for his birthday party as well. We just have Everest Sky, um, Chase, Ryder, Tracker, Zuma, Apollo, Marshall, Rubble, another Apollo, and a Rocky. So those were masks that I kept for the kids to um, put on and play with. And then he has his stuffed Rocky. I do plan on getting more stuffed animals for him. And then that Paw Patrol book bag. And then he also has table scatter. Um, those are his shoes. And then more Paw Patrol decorations. All these decorations came from Party City. These are the table centerpieces. I think they have like a three-piece set. And then they have a 32 or 36 set. That's where they came from. This is a Paw Patrol chandelier also from Party City. The stickers are from roommates. It came in like a 37 sticker set. This is one of his walkers. And then this is his table, a learning table. So this room cost me about 30 to $40 to decorate. And um, you know, I got my money worth because I use the decorations for his first birthday party and then I use them to decorate his room. Um, if you did not know, his room was originally all white. It was an extension of my beauty room. And then I did it into his nursery. And then this is his main wall. This is a scene setter from Party City on each side. I just separate the scene setter. The paws, the bones, and the badges are the stickers from Amazon. And then I just have a row of all white Christmas lights. And then um, the letters for his name came from Michael's. That was part of his um, nursery. And that's the way the wall looks with the window. I have these bins. They were used before for his nursery. He just has a xylophone light-up caliper. Um, this Bright Starts Aquarium. This Push and Go Helicopter. Random Toys. Flashlight Cups. Um, a mirrored tambourine, coffee cup, a rattle, carrot, watch, see a flashlight in there, a little mini bead maze toy, a crab, a light up ball, and just blocks and shapes and things like that. So we really didn't have any toys until the holidays came. 
So between Christmas, his birthday, and Valentine's Day, now he has a room full of toys. This is his light-up drum that he got for his birthday. He loves his thing. Um, he has a corn popper, a rocket popper, a ball, a duck, just other random toys, a little baby chick, a light-up little thing. I think it needs batteries. I mean, he's had that since he was a little baby. Uh, a pop-up toy. You press the button and the animals pop up. Um, there's a bead maze in there. And then some Melissa and Doug little cars. So these were used for storage in his nursery because he had a cloud thing. Because his name means peace. Um, that was a thing for his nursery. And then before that, it was all white full of racks for my extended beauty room slash closet. This is a fish price ball, a soft book from Target. This is an elephant book that was passed down from my older son. This is his Leap Frog Mix Master toy. That is his musical book. This is a hundred words book. That's a baby laptop toy. And then at the bottom is a tiny tablet toy that was a hand-me-down for him from my oldest son. And then some random blocks and shapes at the bottom of the bin as well. And then I'm going to put all the toys back because I don't want to have a big mess. <laughs> um, and then as you can see, he has some Paw Patrol toys over there. I actually DIY'd those. Those were his doggy poles um, for his first birthday. So I just took those Easter um, basket took the handle off and stuck on Paw Patrol stickers as you can see he has a lot of push toys um, the little cars and vehicles that's why he doesn't have any Paw Patrol toys that I buy they're all hand me down he has squirters some figurines we're missing rubble I think he's in the car but um, yeah as you can see he has plenty of hand me down Paw Patrol toys from his older brother so no need to buy any new ones and he has more Paw Patrol toys downstairs. And this is his um, boppity popper. It just pops balls. This is his ball pit on this wall. And then he has some balloons that are deflating. But this is what the balloons first look like. Um, the balloon bouquet from his birthday party. I had them tied up. So as they've been deflating, I've just been cutting them down. So that's how the bouquet first looked. But anyway, um, he has some stuffed animals in there. I also need to get him some more balls. But he just has his tiger, um, a little monkey, hand me down from his brother, two scouts, um, a wiggle mole, another little learning stuffed animal. Over here, he has his Paw Patrol hand me down blanket from my older son, and a sleeping bag and a pillow. He doesn't have a bed in this room because this is turned into more of like a playroom than a bedroom at the moment. But I just laid it down for him to eat snacks and things like that. This is what the far wall looks like. So he has his cloud wall um, with the Paw Patrol badge and then the ball pit. And then this is what the organizer looks like. He has scatter, a snuggle up chase, some DVDs on display. Um, I'm showing you his clothes. Um, you can see his Chase outfit. The two pictures at the top are from his scene setter. And then the bag is a bag that I just tacked up. And on that rack, I like to keep blankets. And then down below right here is another walker that he has. And then this is another uh, bin full of toys. A steering wheel. That's an old toy that was mine when I was a baby. Um, a fire truck from his older brother. A remote. Another um, game remote shape stack toys. That's a Teletubbies phone, a Mickey Mouse cash register, more Melissa and Doug cars and random toys at the bottom. So that's that there. And then on this far wall, um, he just has his car that he got for Christmas that I absolutely love that lights up and makes noises and he absolutely loves it. Now he gets in it and can actually close the door behind himself. So that's the way his car looks. And then also he has this hand-me-down playhouse from my older son that he likes to play with so much. And then he just has those stickers there. And this is his ball pit. And that's where his bed will go probably this summer. 
Um, it'll either go a long ways like the ball pit or out vertically. This is the basketball goal on the back of his room. And this is another pan around of his room. And then right here is his cloud wall, like an accent wall with a Paw Patrol badge. And that's the lighting in his room. And that's where his TV will go right there. We just need to mount it up and hook it up to his DVD player. But we do have a TV for his room so he can watch all his Paw Patrol movies. And this is another pan around of his room. And then on this side, his organizer, he has all of his Paw Patrol DVDs, a Snuggle Up Chase, and a Soul Circus wand. And then on the next shelf, he has a five-minute Paw Patrol stories. I have to put it up there so he won't rip the pages. A chalkboard and a centerpiece from his party. And then these are other decorations from Party City, which were just kind of like face ma or masks that you could hold up and take pictures with and centerpieces for the party. And yeah, so that's my beauty room out there. These stickers are from Amazon Roommates. They are really good. You can stick them, pull them up, move them, and they don't take any paint off of your wall. So I was really happy with those stickers because I did move them around a lot before I could find the perfect spot for them. So I highly recommend those stickers. And yeah, this is just a last pan around and this is what it looks like at night. If you like this video, want to see more videos like this, because I have room tours for my kids' playrooms, my older son's room, when this room was a nursery, um, even before it was a nursery, when it was an extension of my beauty room. Any content or videos like this that you would be interested in, check out my mommy link down below. Hit a like button and subscribe and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.